baby gator. That's a keeper. He just went under. Oh god, oh god, oh god. He might shit on us. Oh, big bird. Big bird. I got the truck loaded down to the rim. We got our tree climber, electric bike, fuel. We got our targets. That right there is a hog. We got the John boat hooked up all on the back of the TRX. Yeah, and I loaded the inside of El Truck too. Look who we got. We got our deer. See, I'm bringing all the archery targets. I got my bow, we got some fishing rods, boots, batteries, tackle bags. We're doing some gator hunting, hopefully some fishing, and then I'm gonna try to end the trip with some deer hunting, bow hunting. This always happens to me. Whenever I have to leave the keys to go on a hunting trip or any kind of trip, we have the most beautiful weather you could ever imagine. I should be taking the boat out today, but it's all good. I can't really complain. We got the little eight horsepower Evinrude on the back of the John boat. We have, uh, you know, I got her cleaned up real nice. I did some serious scrubbing on her. Got the electric trolling motor. I think we're ready to go. I'm gonna trailer this all the way up to Jacksonville. It's a six hour drive. I have never trailered the John boat that far before. I hope the wheel hubs don't overheat. I hope nothing gives out. Fingers crossed. This is the furthest I've taken the truck. This is the furthest I've taken the John boat. Whoo! I'm gonna hop on the road and I'll see you guys up there. Well, we're about an hour into the drive and we're coming up to Miami and we are stuck in traffic on the highway. Good thing I got my buddy over there, my big buck. He's been telling me some stories, keeping me a little busy, but look at this traffic. Isn't this shit wild? Yep, that's Miami for you, baby. South Florida. We got FWC already on us. Yo, FWC's already looking for me. The guy just looked at me like four times when he drove by. He probably saw the deer in the back and he's like, I hope I don't get strip searched. Or maybe I want to get strip searched. Oh God, we're about to drive past him again. Oh God, oh God, he's looking, he's looking at me. <clears throat> Hold your breath, I go. Look cool, look cool. Oh, I made eye contact. All right, six hours of driving later. We have arrived into the boondocks. It's probably the best way to explain it. I, is that you down at the dock? boat ramp yeah, yeah. Uh, i see you walking around are you wearing jeans right now i'm wearing pants yeah i'm wearing pants that you can remove the lower parts because like i, I get eaten by mosquitoes later all right oh it says do not enter all right um oh i came into the wrong way i see all right i'll see you in yeah, a second yeah. oh yo my legs step one is to stretch after sitting in a car for so long Yo, yo. How was your drive? <laughs> it was good. All right, so we're here with David in the backwaters of St. Augustine. And David got gator tags again this year. You're super lucky. I don't know why they keep I getting I don't know them if there. I'm lucky with this one or not, because <laughs> I've heard these are hard tags, so. Yeah, apparently these are very hard tags. But the really cool thing is David rented one of these houses right on the water in the same waters that we have tags for. So that means we literally get to just pull the John boat up to the dock. We got a few days to just give it our best and see what we can do. And if we don't get it done here, there's a few other spots that I have planned out which might uh, involve us getting up into some very sketchy creeks maybe <laughs> a lot of lo fallen logs and stuff is what i heard and uh we might have to cut our way through some of these creeks so well i think it's pretty standard that when we go out gator hunting very sketchy things happen so i expect no less last year we got lucky so hopefully we get lucky again oh yeah got the john boat backed up to the boat ramp we were just standing out there a second ago we're gonna drop her in drive her over to the house show you guys the house and we're gonna try to get out for a little sunset gator hunt drop her on in <laughs> all right all right we're doing it right i think the only thing missing now is a cold beer in my hand but instead i got the throttle so i guess i can't really complain but we're just going right over to that dock right over there we got her docked in the boon docks that's pretty legit in our little boathouse down here, overlooking gator territory. Check out the view from the living room. You can see the boathouse out there. The John boat's loaded up with gear. 
and we're about to head out but first we're gonna we went down to the local gas station which is actually pretty cool what kind of gas station sells a full rack of ribs they're still warm and since we're being a little hillbilly today out here in the boondocks i bought a whole case of keystone light with in camo cans it's probably over 10 years since i've had a keystone light we on the john boat and we're loaded down and david's gonna show us what he's got in his kill bag all right what we got <laughs> We got some 357 Magnums. Woo, big boys. Most importantly, we have my license and our tags. Can't be gator hunting without these. Tags, that's what everyone wants. We have some extra spare harpoon tips, batteries. Can't be out there without a knife. And we got a radio and Garmin inReach Mini just in case if we get out of cell service. So. Perfect. You got a 357 uh, out of the case so we can see how big that bullet is. Oh, we should actually put a couple of these. Probably should put one in each of our pockets. But All right. That's what yeah, let's, do, let's see what one of these bad boys. Damn, that's a big piece so of lead. That's, that's what we used last year. Boom! All right, I untied that. Let's see if we can't get her started. Choke on, a couple pulls to get the fuel in. That started right away. I wasn't even trying to start it. All right, whenever you're ready, hop on. Hop on. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing it. <laughs> we're gator hunting, boys. All right, we're on the John boat. We're riding around, and we're just gonna look around, and I'm gonna film some scenic stuff. Here, I'm gonna cut the engine. That was a lot of bubbles, dude. A lot. I mean, it was literally boiling the water. Oh, there, look. Oh, oh, is that a turtle? What is that? It could just be a turtle. It looked, that looked like a, a snapping turtle. It could be. He came up, right? Like right in the center of that cut. Dude, this looks so gatory out here. It looks pretty gay tory out here. <laughs> Damn, I suck at what jokes. Yeah, well, we're gonna blow right to it. A little gator or a turtle? I think it's a little gator. Dude, there's some serious wind out here today. Look, there's just some bubbles right there. There's a big manatee right here. It's kind of hard to see. Dude, I thought that was a gator for a second. It just came up from the ground. All right, our first obstacle, a big tree is in the way. Will we get over it? You think your hacksaw is big enough to cut through that? Or maybe we can get around right there. It can cut through this stuff easy. So if you start all these like smaller branches and all that shit, you know, easy peasy. We can right. make our way through. I think we can go around this. We about to find out. Oh boy. That's not so bad actually. We did it. I guess we'll just keep exploring until we can't go no more. Dude, I bet you at nighttime, I bet there's some gator eyes back here. This looks super gatory. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> nice, dude. Hell yeah. Nice. That saw just came in. There's bubbles right here. You see this? this oh. A gator. That could be a gator. This might be a gator. Do we have a snatch gun? Yes, we do. The bubbles are coming from everywhere, though. He's moving back there. He's moving back there. I, I think it's a gator. You think that's a gator? Yeah. That might, that might just be bubbles coming off the ground. Because they're, like, everywhere. Gator on, gator on. See any gators up ahead? No, that's a lot of bubbles, though, dude. I think it's just from, like, the ground, them coming off the ground. This feels like anaconda. I know where we are. This is giving me serious anaconda vibes out here. There's a baby gator. 
We've spotted our first gator. Things are starting to heat up around here. We got a tree in the way. Um, do you think we'd be able to get around that side of it? Maybe try to bounce off of it with the paddle. Maybe the 10 footers on the other side of this tree. I mean, I could cut my way through that, but it would be like a two minute cut. And we'd have to do at least two, and then we'd have a giant log. <laughs> Maybe we can get around the left side of it. Dude, where's the gators at? That splashing, paddle splashing might attract a gator. Like, think it's like a animal in distress. Oh God. I think we're gonna do it. I'm, I'm gonna pull the motor up. We did it. Oh my God, we got past the tree. I feel like now we're kind of in uncharted territory. That is him hooting. They're calling to each other. There's owls hooting at each other out here. Dude, that's crazy. We've already seen a gator, owls, turtles, animals. Manatees. Manatees, God. This is pretty sick. I hope he doesn't shit on us. Oh no, God, no, no, oh God, no, no, no. oh God, he might shit on us. He was just, he was stretching his wings right over. Oh, big bird, big bird. Dude, I feel like a pirate paddling, like, to conquer some land. Just, we're looking for a gator. All right, I think we can motor from here for a little bit. Unless you're enjoying the workout. All right, all right, we'll keep paddling. <laughs> yeah. Dude, there's definitely going to be fat gators sitting out here. I just can feel them. I feel like a snake's just gonna fall right on top of us at some point tonight. I think it's pretty likely. You think that's a baby gator? Oh my God, he's so small. Yeah, you see him? That's gross. I'll let this one for a minute. Dude, it smells so bad. Trust me, we didn't even pop it yet. I'm gonna gag <laughs> like a fucking motherfucker. You wanna do this? <laughs> I don't wanna do this. I don't know if this is the, the stinky ones. There's two bags. This one could be the Maybe stinky. just use that one since it's already open. I think this is the stinky one. Alright, ready? This juice is gonna stink like one. It's okay. Right. You're gonna hear me gagging. I'm all gonna laugh. Mm. <laughs> just don't, don't breathe. It smells kind of good. It smells like gator hunting. Alright, we found a bunch of gators swimming around, so. David's taking the beef lung out of the bag now. It smells, I think it smells pretty good. David doesn't think so. And we're tying it up to a fishing pole and we're gonna chuck it out. And inside of the beef lung, there's a wooden peg. It's like a piece of wood and it gets stuck in the gator's throat and then we can reel them in. It's gnarly. It smells pretty bad. Good thing you had gloves on. Yeah, came prepared. David's Hello. super professional gator hunter now. He <laughs> brings gloves because he knows how bad the baits smell. And it's day two of gator hunting. And this time we are loading up my truck. We're gonna take the John Bow. We're gonna pull it out of the water right now. It's at the back of the house here in St. Augustine at our Airbnb, which is on the water right where we can hunt gators. But we were out all last night and we only saw small ones. So we're packing it all up and we're gonna drive about 45 minutes south of here to another boat ramp. And hopefully they got some gators there for us, but I don't know if you can tell, but I am pooped already. I got another stiff neck. Keep getting stiff necks. I don't know what's up with that, but fingers crossed that there's a gator in the thumbnail of this video. The adventures continue. Day two, let's put a gator on the boat. There she is, back on the trailer in all of her glory. It's time to go on a little car ride to a different boat ramp, a secret boat ramp. And we gonna find that gator finally. Look at that drop. We just dropped the John boat off of, but we are ready to drop her in the water. Oh, look, you can see it going back. God, I love technology. Yeehaw. There she goes. Country roads, West Virginia. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> you got some amazing balance. We probably should just be barefoot, then we could just walk into the water. <laughs> probably, we're making this harder. We always make it harder than it has to be. That's like our specialty. She's looking good. Oh, this is a better leap of faith. I wonder if I should just go barefoot. Yeah, maybe. All right, she started up. Let's go find that damn gator. All right, dude, we gotta really keep our eyes peeled to see if a gator goes down or not. Like, we are in gator territory now. I guess that's why we got some paddles. We hit our first log. Oh yeah, okay. All right, nice. Wow, barely made it over that log. <laughs> hey, this looks interesting. Are we gonna make it through this? All right, I stopped the uh, prop. Can you push it down though, or is it solid? We did it, right? No. Almost. Holy smokes, another log over here. All right, we did it. Quite the interesting terrain that we are going through. Oops, why did it? Oh, of course, the log is still under the boat. It's like stuck to us. All right, we're good, back in action. <laughs> Left or right of this thing? We just saw a gator. Should we put the bait on? We could put the bait here and... It might only be a five-footer though. <laughs> you, know, you, you don't think he's very big? I mean, he wasn't like... It was a good splash, but it wasn't like... <laughs> yeah, it was like a four-footer kind of splash. Yeah. What do you think, we keep going? It's worth snagging him. Okay, we just saw a gator go down right here. So we're gonna drop a bait on him. Nice juicy bait. I don't know, what do we... Okay, the bait has been deployed. Dude, this is crazy looking terrain. Oh, oh shit. So many damn logs. Oh God. We're going through a canopy. This gator was like five foot. Maybe six foot. The gator never came, so we're gonna move spots. We just saw some wild pigs right at the bank. Oh, he's still back there, you hear him? Yeah. There's like three or four big pigs. And if there's pigs, that means there's big 13 foot gators that eat them. That's a keeper. He just went under. Yeah, he just went down right there. He was, but he just came up right there. How about we just put the bait like over here and we'll go over there? Yeah, perfect. All right, we put the bait out. We got a bait sitting out there. I'll show you. the end maybe? Isn't that where the big gators are? You got it. Get him. Get him. Hail Mary shot. Oh my lord. Okay. Uh, should I put on the electric?
as he swims forward into it. Fuck. Oh, this is really hard to like coordinate. <laughs> it keeps hanging to the fucking lap. We got fish jumping in the boat. Oh, there goes one. They're just jumping in the boat. Wow, there's there's a lot of them jumping in. Oh god, there's so many on the deck. We're gonna be finding dead fish on the boat all tomorrow. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> we got these fish jumping in the boat. Be free, buddy. Oh my god, it's a rotisserie chicken. We have a gator. Okay, okay. I'll take it. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Okay, get the harpoon ready. Hold on, we're tangled, we're tangled. Okay. All right, I'm gonna chase him. Dude! <laughs> I was like, I just heard a weird noise, and then all of a sudden, Wang! All right, I'm chasing him. Should, uh, should we let him eat it more, though? You give him time. It should be very, very slow. You gotta give me time to get this right. Anyway. All right, I'm just gonna let him eat it. Dude, he's got it. He's got it. He's taking it. It might just be in his mouth, though. Okay, I'm just chasing him right now. We should put your clip-on lights on here. Okay, yeah, give me a bullet. Got the bullet ready to go. Yeah, baby. Can you hand me your other, one of your lights? Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> Just try not to look at me with that light. <laughs> yeah, that's good, but face them out because that'll blind me right there. Yeah, 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 like that. And do one on that side too. Perfect, dude, perfect. Dude, we look, we're so legit right now. Yeah, should I start going after him or, or do we let him eat longer? Should we, uh, should we let him eat longer? Yeah, we probably should let him eat. Let's let him eat like another five minutes. He's he's got it. He's got it. Oh, he's swimming. He's swimming. Is he straight below you? No, no, no. He's out. He's out. Way out. Oh, I see him. Let's give him like five minutes. Let's let that shit go away into his gut. All right. Let's get him. He's taking off right now. I'm gonna chase him. He ate the whole freaking turkey. Okay, we're getting close to him. The line's stuck in these bushes, but I can get it out. I'm gonna try to get it out gently. Okay, I need a way to cut this bush. Maybe we got a saw. We got a saw, yeah, yeah, if we could saw this. Maybe I can lift, I might be able to break it with my hand. Here, uh, all right. Just don't saw the line. Nope. Okay. Here you go. Here, here, take, take that. Here, you can put the rod down. Okay. Okay. Okay, we just sawed through the line. Or through the. Oh, I got a big spider web on me. No. Dude, I got so many spider webs with me. Oh my god, dude. There's so much shit we're stuck on here. Okay, yeah, we gotta cut all these trees off. Hold on, hold on. The, the, that line is. Where's the line going? Okay, it's on that bottom branch. You, you see that? Um. If you could like try to pot, just like tug it off of there. So he went under that mother tree. Okay. All right, so here, if we can lift this branch up, we can get I'll to- I'll start cutting my way through this. Here, wait, wait. I don't think we need to do that much. Here, we got to lift that branch up. Yeah, lift this one up. And we need to pull ourselves towards that, towards the, towards the stump. That, oh my God, dude, hold on. He, that that looks so close. The saw looks so close to the line. Sure. <laughs> I'm more worried about that f***ing log. Look, see, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we can get in there and put the put the rod under the log. We have to wrap it around it. But we need to start cutting these branches off so that we can get in here. Okay, here. I'm going to reel this rod in so it's always... Here, if oh, I like... Man. I need to get out of here. Something... What are we doing? All right, yeah. We need to get out. Yeah, we need to back out of here, but we're stuck for some reason. We need to go backwards. We're stuck on the log right here. Give me that pedal. Okay. Thank God. Okay, yeah, let's see if we can see the line on the other side. There it is. Okay. Oh, thank God. I kind of like your splicing idea. <laughs> here. Tighten down on that. Let's see. Wait, tight down. Tighten down on it. No. Yeah. I want to see if I can pull the line out. He's not taking line. I don't think it's going under that branch. It is. Under the log? Yes, I 100% saw it. 
Okay, he needs to stop running. And then we gotta die it real quick. He's gonna be going up and down all this other shit. Okay, he stopped taking a line. Should we do it? All right, dude, that should be way more than enough line. Okay. Ready? Okay. Oh shit, he's taking a line. I can't pull anymore. Oh. Should we? Dude, we should just do it. We should do it. Well, you gotta cut this side too. All right, splice them, splice them, splice them. You're doing so good. How's it like? Is that normal? <laughs> He's taking line, buddy, but you're good, you're good. We're good, we're good. All right, we're good. All right, reel it in. Make sure we don't get that way. We're back in action. I'm not totally sure, but he's going this way. Nice, got out of that tree. He was in the tree, but I got him out of this one. He's in the tree. Damn, that is such a bummer. He got us treed up to a point of no return. Damn. He's probably like a football field back in there, or maybe not that far, but now we got like a thousand spiders on us. <laughs> yeah, even if we got past this tree, there might be like a hundred more after it. Yeah, it ate that chicken. Holy chicken fly wise. David's manhandling the gator. Either we lose it or not at this point. Yeah, he just took all the line back, didn't he? he no, he's not taking any line. He's probably like a four footer. I think he's like a four footer though. Bye gator. Well, it's day three of gator hunting. And yesterday we had a nice gator on, on the Cornish hen. Took our bait, and then he took us into the swamps. Despite all our efforts, he got away. That's why we use wooden pegs instead of hooks when you gator hunt, just like this one. So that way, if the gator gets away, they get a free chicken and they poop out the little wooden peg later. But now we're out of chickens. So Dave over here is rigging up some fresh baits. We're getting desperate. By the way, yeah. if you can't tell, we're quite desperate and we've been out so late every night. It's feeling like work. I know. It's supposed to be fun, not work. Look at that chicken butt. <laughs> Little chicken butts. I'm going to talk about my bucket for a second. <laughs> so we're at the boat ramp now and we were here last night till pretty late at night and I forgot my Yeti bucket with my hex Yeti lid, you know. It's like 70 plus dollars in buckets, plus it was full of drinks and sausage. So excited to eat those sausages, but we left it right here, right there. And I don't know, somebody must have came and took it because it ain't here no more. What do you think about that? It sucks. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? I don't even know if I'm mad or not because what would you do if you saw a Yeti bucket at a boat ramp? I wouldn't touch it because I would think it was jail bait. Anyways, day three. We're gonna drop the, the boat in and we're gonna go down these creeks and hopefully find Mr. 13 footer. Are bananas bad luck for like boats or for fishing? Fishing. <laughs> All right, deploying the trolling motor. All right, <clears throat> trolling motor's down and we are officially gator hunting. It's time to be quiet. It is so pretty out here. So many logs in the way. There's just log after log. I guess we just need one cut, right? I say go for it, like maybe right right there. If that all fell down, then we'd be jolly off for one cut. Yeah, probably the thinnest part would be the best. We're doing FWC's work. Yeah, looks good. Fuck her up. It just broke off. <laughs> the blade has had enough. I kind of feel like this guy is just messing with us. Here, I can knock that out with this paddle. It won't fall out if you put it upside down. It doesn't seem to. 
There we go. It's out. It's out? Yep. Can't believe we just did that. If there's not a gator at the end of this trail. Oh, shit. You know what? There's a big ass log right here. We might have to go. Looks kind of like it clears up for a little bit. What are we stuck on? Something on your side over there. Well, I'm pushing, nothing's happening. I don't think, no, the motor's good. No, there's a fucking log down there. This is gonna be really hard at night. We're not gonna be here at night. There's a log right there. Well, we've been hacking our way through these trees. For the record, FWC did say we can cut through trees that are falling across the creeks here. I think if we don't do it, they, they do it anyways. But it looks like somebody else attempted to cut through a tree and looks like their chainsaw blade got stuck. It's tough hunting out here. Whose blade was this? Are you watching right now? All right, we're back in the truck. Um, we're gonna ditch the creeks. We're done cutting logs and hitting stumps and almost falling off the John boat. So now we're gonna head to some more open water kind of stuff. So we're heading out straight up into the river. Screw it, we're going hard. Just like that, we are in open water. No more stumps. Well, we'll probably still hit a stump or two, but we got a creek over there we're probably gonna get into because we like to get stuck. But look how beautiful these trees are. Gotta be a damn gator in here. That looks like gator territory to me. There's also a big storm that might hit us. It's starting to rain. There's a thunderstorm coming. But we got our ponchos on. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I need to get my light. <laughs> Check out the fort. <laughs> we saw a gator and we put a bait out in front of the gator. So, oh, there's mosquitoes in here. <laughs> Why do we do these things? I don't know. All right, I'm back in the truck again, heading back home. Man, we got caught in a storm last night and I didn't get to sleep until like three in the morning, probably later than that actually. We, we got home at three in the morning. It's been quite the adventure. We didn't get a gator, but you know what? I had a really good time and David's two gator tags are good until October. So I think like early October. So if there's anybody that has a boat and knows how to hunt St. John's gator tags, let me know, reach out to me. I would be willing to make that six hour drive back up to St. Augustine or the uh, St. John's. Maybe I'll grab a hotel or something with David and take us out. We'll film a cool video. <laughs> if you know anyone, that'd be pretty cool. Otherwise, I probably won't be going back up there for a second attempt because, phew, I mean, we really, we put in the work. We saw a lot of small gators. You know, the only big gator we saw, we got him to eat a bait and he just completely wrecked us in those, in the, in the swamp lands. But nonetheless, saw a lot of cool stuff. Had an amazing trip. Glad I did it. Would totally do it again. Now it's deer season, so I'm gonna be focusing on some deer hunting. I just got another dozen arrows from Bass Pro Shops on my way down, and that's not the only thing I bought. You see that box? That's a new gun. It's uh, my first muzzle-loading gun ever. Black powder rifle, because I got some quota for muzzle-loading, so we'll be doing some of that. But don't think I forgot about the fishing. Right now, I am going to stop at my buddy Lee's house on the way back down to the Keys, and he's got a bass fishing spot, and there's some crappie too, crappy, crappies. Uh, I've never done crappie fishing, but seems to be a hit people seem to love it we want to cook some up so right now I'm gonna to go to his house I just bought some lures at Bass Pro Shops for crappie that I'll be showing you guys in the next video so hit the subscribe button the next video is gonna be a little crappie bass fishing video hopefully it's a catch and cook see you guys there cheers